Welcome to Bot Games Bot Wars. Now, each Monday throughout the month of August, we're going to be releasing a new Bot Wars challenge page. And each of those challenge pages will follow a different departmental theme. So our first week is going to focus on front office. Week two is going to focus on supply chain. Week three is going to focus on human resources. And week four is going to focus on accounts payable. Okay, so let's jump into week one and talk about exactly what the challenge is and how you can complete this RPA challenge. So first off, corporate customers need to be added to the cable company, which is just a fictitious cable company, uh, to their customer relationship management system. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is download the CSV, which is titled missingcustomers.csv. We want to loop through that CSV to enter all of the missing customer details into this customer onboarding form. Once all seven customers have been successfully added to the form, you can hit submit and a modal will pop up that shows you your uh, Bot Wars challenge page score. Okay, now all fun games have to have some kind of rules. So the only rule for this week's challenge is that your bot must download the missing customer's CSV as a part of its execution. Okay, so it could have downloaded it before and you're trying to run it off of that. But as a part of the bot solution, your bot has to actually download the file before it hits that final submit. Okay, so just so that we're all playing by the same rules, that's what we're going to be looking for. Now, let me show you that challenge page and we can just take a look at it real quick. Uh, so this is what it looks like. We've got the uh, missing customer CSV here. You can download that and look through it. It's got a total of seven customers on there, so you can uh, review those customer details. Now, for those different customers, you're gonna have to fill out the customer details. And notice most of these are just uh, plain text fields. There's one that's a drop down, and then there's a couple that are a radio button and here a um, checkbox. Okay, so your bot will have to go through and fill this form out. Now, if we look at the missing customers CSV real quick, notice that we've got uh, details for all of them, right? But then we also have this offers, discounts, and non-disclosure on file, right? Based on the data that's filled out for these two columns, we'll need to make a determination as to whether or not we give them the discount here or whether or not we're checking this box to validate that they have a non-disclosure on file, okay? So after every time that your bot fills out this form, you need to hit that register button. Once it's gone through all seven customers, you'll get this modal that pops up that shows you what your time was and what your accuracy was, okay? So you'll wanna have that because we're gonna use that for the next step of our bot wars. Now, ideally, after you've completed the challenge, you get a modal that looks more like this one than the one I just showed you, right? And it will say, hey, you've completed the challenge. This is the time that it took you. This is your accuracy. Notice it also has a link to share your accomplishment on social media. What we want you to do is share a screenshot of your time and accuracy, kind of like I've done here, uh, and use the hashtag botgames and RPA August. Very clever hashtags, if I, if I might say myself. Uh, use both of those on social media and tag three other developers who you challenge to also complete this RPA challenge exercise, okay? As you share that on social media and as you share your accomplishment, our social media team is going to be looking for individuals who are sharing these throughout the month and they're gonna send them a code for limited edition bot game swag, okay? So make sure that every week we release these challenges, you're completing them, you're tagging other developers to challenge to also complete the challenge, it's gonna be a really fun event. We're gonna see people who are having, you know, times like mine around 25.6 seconds. We're also gonna be seeing people that have really crazy fast times. And it's gonna be a really fun way to kind of talk about what are some pros and cons of different approaches to solving this same kind of problem. So solve it once, solve it the normal way, solve it a little bit crazier, see how you can get it to work, see how fast it is, see the pros and cons of that, okay? I'm really excited for you to try out this challenge. Now, today is Monday, August 2nd. On Thursday, August 5th, we're gonna be releasing a challenge solution tutorial video. So I'm gonna show you the exact same way that I would build this challenge. I'm gonna show you kind of the normal best practices way. It's not gonna be the crazy, crazy fast, fastest time you've seen on LinkedIn kind of challenge. Uh, we'll talk about some of those approaches but it's going to be like the normal way to solve this kind of challenge. So make sure that if you wanna compete in this week's challenge, that you do it before Thursday when we post that solution video, okay? 
Super excited for you to try this one out. The link to the challenge is in the description below and in the text below. Uh, again, the only rule is just make sure that your bot, beyond entering all the data correctly, is also downloading that CSV every execution. Okay? I'll see you Thursday. Have fun with this challenge. Go be great.